now we are going to work on updating the products so we have done with deleting part i will come to view products.php now how we have accessed the id number for this deleting that particular id should be deleted from the database so in the same way when i click on update button whichever product i am clicking on update only that product should be updated so here how we have done for delete same process we are going to do here i will bring this i down we have to get this id number so first inside href i will be creating one file update.php question mark i will give the variable name as edit which will be equal to this id okay this is nothing but using this we can get the id from the database i will remove this okay we have already seen using this row variable we are just getting the data from the database so i have just accessed the id now when we clicked on delete button it was showing the id number which product should be deleted in the same way now when i click on this update button whatever id that product is having inside the database that will be displayed i will save this i will come to my project i will refresh once i will be adding one product because all the product we have deleted 12000 i will be adding the image at product product inserted successfully view product now you can see when i hover on delete below i am getting delete is equal to 10 and when i hover on edit here also i am getting edit is equal to 10 okay we have just accessed the id number which is present inside the database then we have the class and also we have the icon now we are going to create the file here i will create one file update.php i will close this here we are going to write basic html i will write here update product i will come to index.php and from here i'm just going to copy this css and font awesome copy and below this i'm just going to paste i will save this i will refresh my project now when i click on this edit button you can see i am redirected to update.php and also the id number is displayed let me come to the demo project i will click on view products inside this also i am not having any product let me add headphone 12000 choose file headphone open add product product inserted successfully now here i am having this headphone now when i click on this edit button you can see i should be getting this form all the field should be filled you can see i am having the image i am having this heading and also i am having the price i have to select the new image okay we are just updating the product so i should be getting this form and inside this first i am having the header i will just include the header here inside this body i will just write here php include header dot php i will close this php syntax save i will come here i will refresh this now here i am having this header now below this i am just going to create one section section and for this section i will give the class as edit container inside this section we will be building the form i will be writing form as of now we are not going to do anything related to php i will just write form inside this form first i want to display the image i will write image tag below that i have input field and inside this input field first i am just going to give the type as hidden okay later on i will be telling you why i am giving this 
and then again i will just create one more input field and inside this i have to display the product name and for this input field i will give the class class is equal to input fields and also i will be giving one more class fields Okay, I have already given the stylings, so I am not going to work on the stylings. And for this, while updating, this should be required. Without filling the form, I should not enter inside the database. Now next is, I should display the price. So for this, I will just change it to number. Then class will be same, input fields and field. And this also should be required. Then finally, I have to upload the image. I will copy this. And here I will write file. For this also, I am going to give the same class. And inside this, we are going to give one more attribute that is except. We have already seen. Except and inside this, I will come to index.php. And from here, I am just going to copy. I will copy this value. And inside this, I am just going to paste. Only this PNG, JPG, and JPEG image should be accepted. I will save. I will come here. I will refresh this one. Here I am having the image. Only image field is displayed. But text and password is not displayed. I will just inspect this one. I will show you. You can see we are having this form. This is the image. And this inside this you can see it is highlighted here. And also we have for price. For this form I will give the class. Class is equal to update product. And also I will give product container box. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see as soon as I gave the class, my text field, password field and this image field is visible. Inside my demo project, I should be having these two buttons, update product and cancel button. Inside this form itself, below this input field, I will create one diff. For this, I will give the class as buttons. Inside this, I am just going to create input field. For first, I am going to give submit. Because when I click on this submit button, the data should be submitted. And also, for this, I am just going to give the class. Class I will give edit button. Edit btn. Again I will copy the same thing. And here I will give the type as reset. When I click on this reset, the data should be reset. I will just, for this we are going to write JavaScript. So I will give the ID. And I will just write here close edit. And class I am just going to give cancel btn. We have just written HTML, we have included header, we have created the section, inside this we have created form. I will be telling you why I have given this type as hidden. And we have the fields for text, price and image. And image will be accepting these extensions. And after that I have just created buttons. Now I will come to my project. I will refresh this. Now here I have submit button and reset button. If you want you can give the value here. Instead of reset, let me come here. We will just write the value. Value is equal to cancel. I will save this. I will come. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having the value as cancel. I will just change C to capital. Save. I will refresh this. Now here I am having this data. Now inside this data, whenever I click on this edit button, whatever data I am having inside this table row, that data should be displayed inside this field. Now same we are going to work on this. So from next session, we are going to work on this PHP code.